Nanorax LLC is a private company that develops products and offers services for the commercial utilization of space. Nanorax hosts a CubeSat deployer and equipment for experiments on the International Space Station. Nanorax services include reviewing space payloads to ensure they meet NASA's safety and other technical requirements. In July 2015, Nanorax announced an agreement with Blue Origin to offer business development services for the Blue Shepard New Shepard suborbital vehicle. In August 2016, the Nanorax-led Ixion initiative team, which also includes Space Systems Laurel and United Launch Alliance, was selected as one of NASA's Next Step 2 partnerships to conduct a comprehensive feasibility study on repurposing rocket upper stages into commercial space station habitats. Nanorax's main office is in Houston, Texas, alongside the NASA Johnson Space Center. The Business Development Office is in Washington, D.C., and additional offices are located in Silicon Valley and Europe. Nanorax provides tools, hardware and services that allow other companies, organizations and governments to conduct research and other projects in space. Nanorax facilities on the U.S. National Lab on the ISS include Nanolab research modules, a centrifuge, a plate reader, and Mixtix mixing enclosures. Since 2009, over 580 payloads have been sent to the International Space Station. Nanorax partners with the Student Spaceflight Experiments Program, along with the National Center for Earth and Space Science Education (NCESSE) and the Arthur C. Clarke Institute for Space Education. Nanorax customers include the European Space Agency (ESA), the German Space Agency (DLR), NASA, U.S. government agencies, Planet Labs, Earthcast, Space Florida, NCESSE, Virgin Galactic, pharmaceutical drug companies, and organizations in. Vietnam, UK, Romania and Israel. Nanorax is part of Exo Markets, a holding company for commercial space exploration. Topic: History. Nanorax was founded in 2009 by Jeffrey Manber and Charles Miller to provide commercial hardware and services for the U.S. National Laboratory on board the International Space Station via a Space Act agreement with NASA. Nanorax signed their first contract with NASA in September 2009 and had their first laboratory on the space station in April 2010. Mercorp CEO Jeff Manber oversaw the first and only commercially funded mission of the Russian space station, which lasted over 70 days. Manber was, and still is, the only American to ever work officially for the Russian space program. As of August 2015, over 300 payloads have been deployed by Nanorax to the International Space Station. As of June 2015, Nanorax has deployed 64 satellites into lower Earth orbit, and had 16 satellites on the ISS awaiting deployment, with an order backlog of 99. As of August 2017, 580 payloads have been launched to the International Space Station, including the deployment of nearly 200 CubeSats from the Nanorax CubeSat deployer NRC in 2012, Nanorax generated more than $3 million in revenue, of which only one quarter comes from NASA. In August 2012, Nanorax partnered with Space Florida to host the Space Florida International Space Station (ISS) research competition. As part of this program, Nanorax and DreamUp provide research nanolab box units to fly payloads to the ISS, with scientific research to be conducted on board the U.S. National Lab. In October 2013, Nanorax became the first company to coordinate the deployment of small satellites from the ISS via the airlock in the Japanese Kibo module. This deployment was done by Nanorax using the Japanese Experiment Module GEM Small Satellite Orbital Deployer JSSOD. The Nanorax CubeSat deployer was launched on January 9, 2014, on the Orbital Sciences Cygnus Orb-1 mission. It became the first commercial platform to deploy satellites from the ISS. In December 2014, DreamUp.org, the website for the educational arm of Nanorax, was launched. DreamUp offers access to commercial research platforms in suborbital and low Earth orbit. The DreamUp Advisory Board, made up of industry experts Ken Shields and Jeffrey Manber assigns DreamUp approved status to projects declared realistic, doable, and in accordance with standard safety criteria. 
through partnerships with organizations such as SSEP and Valley Christian High School, Nanorax and DreamUp have helped launch dozens of student experiments to space and immerse hundreds of students in the space research experience. In July 2015, Nanorax announced it was teaming with Blue Origin to provide standardized, commercial payload accommodation services on Blue Origin's new Shepard suborbital vehicle. Nanorax provides services such as payload design and development, safety approvals, and integration for suborbital research payloads. In August 2015, Nanorax announced a historic agreement to fly a Chinese DNA experiment from the Beijing Institute of Technology on the International Space Station. The agreement includes Nanorax delivering the experiment to the American side of the ISS in a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft and berthing the experiment to Nanorax orbiting laboratory facilities. Nanorax will then send data back to the Chinese researchers. In August 2015, the Nanorax external payload platform NREP was successfully launched to the ISS on the fifth flight of the Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle HTV. The external platform will be able to accommodate up to 9.4 U cubesat size payloads outside of the space station with a standard mission duration of 15 weeks. The platform is operational as of August 2016. In August 2015, Space Angels Network joined with Nanorax and DreamUp to support and invest in STEM education and early stage space companies by using the DreamUp approved system. In December 2015, Nanorax announced the formal creation of DreamUp PBC. The goal behind DreamUp PBC was to make space research available to university students and researchers in the US as well as a dozen other countries. Via crowdfunding, DreamUp hopes to take space-based education to a whole new level. Topic. Nanorax flight history September 14, 2017 SpaceX 12 The 3rd of June 2017 SpaceX 11 February 19, 2017 SpaceX 10 April 18, 2017 OA7 Cygnus March 23, 2016 OA6 Cygnus February 19, 2017 SpaceX 10 Dragon 9 December 2016 HTV6 October 17, 2016 OA5 Antares, Cygnus July 18, 2016 SpaceX 9 Dragon 8 April 2016 SpaceX 8 Dragon June 28, 2015 SpaceX 7 Dragon failed launch. April 14, 2015 SpaceX 6 Dragon. The 10th of January 2015 SpaceX 5 Dragon. October 28, 2014 Orb 3 Cygnus failed launch. September 23, 2014 SpaceX 4 Dragon. July 13, 2014 Orb 2 Cygnus. April 18, 2014 SpaceX 3 Dragon The 9th of January 2014 Orb 1 Cygnus September 18, 2013 Orb D1 Cygnus The 3rd of August 2013 HTV4 The 5th of June 2013 ATV4 July 21, 2012 HTV3 March 23, 2012 ATV3 the 1st of March 2013 SpaceX 2 The 8th of October 2012 SpaceX 1 May 28, 2013 Soyuz 35S March 28, 2013 Soyuz 34S July 15, 2012 Soyuz 31S The 8th of July 2011 STS-135 May 16, 2011 STS-134 April 28, 2010 Progress MO5M Topic. Facilities and labs Topic. Internal ISS services Nanorax facilities on the International Space Station ISS include 
Nanorax Frame 3 accommodates a total of three 4U payloads with the dimensions 10 cm by 20 cm by 20 cm and has advanced features such as an internal computer with its own crew interface facility for easier payload software development. The Frame 3 can also provide up to 50W of power to a payload through a USB or other forms of data connections. Nanorax Mixtix, Nanorax Mixture Enclosure Tubes Mixtix hold up to 24 mixing sticks. This enclosure allows for microgravity reactions and materials to be captured for analysis on the ISS, or returned to Earth via either the Soyuz or SpaceX's Dragon. The Mixtix are activated, and analysis begins, after the mixing stick is cracked open by an ISS crew member, similar to activating a glow stick. Nanorax Microscope 3 The third generation Nanorax Microscope system is a handheld USB digital microscope with 20 240 X magnification that creates 5 MP pictures or video. Seven white LEDs provide lighting, and the scope has a polarizing filter to reduce glare. Microscope 3 can also be mounted to its XY translation stage for extra stability. Two microplate holders can accommodate low profile microplates. The microplate holders are black or white for the specific research background required. Nanorax Plate Reader 2 A molecular device's Spectrumax M5E modified for space flight and the microgravity environment. This spectrophotometer analyzes samples by shining light 200 to 1000 nanometers either on or through the top or bottom of each sample in the well of a microplate. The Nanorax Plate Reader 2 can accommodate cuvettes in special microplate holders as well as 6, 12, 24, 48, 96, and 384 well microplates. It can operate in absorbance, fluorescence intensity, or fluorescence polarization modes. Lab space on the ISS is provided to Nanorax by NASA under a contractual lease arrangement. Nanorax Black Box is an essential part of Nanorax, next-gen international space station platforms. This platform was designed to increase the payload turnover of autonomous payloads while simultaneously providing advanced scientific capabilities to customers, including the use of robotics, new automated mixtics, and nanolab-style research. The platform itself is the size of a locker and can accommodate payloads up to 18U. Black Box was first utilized on the OA-5 resupply mission. Topic. External ISS services Nanorax deploys small CubeSats into orbit from the ISS through the Nanorax CubeSat deployer via the airlock in the Japanese Kibo module, after the satellites are transported to the ISS on a cargo spacecraft. When released, the small satellites are provided a push of about 1 meter per second, 3.3 feet per second, that begins a slow process of satellite separation from the ISS. The Nanorax CubeSat deployer (NRCSD) is a self-contained deployment system that mechanically and electrically isolates CubeSats from the ISS, the ISS crew, and cargo resupply vehicles. The design of the NRCSD is compliant with the ISS flight safety requirements and is space qualified. The deployer is composed of anodized aluminum plates, access panels, deployer doors, and a base plate assembly. The inside of the NRCSD is designed to minimize and or preclude the jamming of CubeSat appendages during deployment. Each CubeSat deployer is capable of holding 48U of CubeSats. The Nanorax external platform NREP was successfully installed in August 2016. The self-funded NREP is the first ever commercial gateway and return to the extreme environment of space. Following the CubeSat form factor, payloads can now experience the microgravity, radiation and other harsh elements native to the space environment, observe Earth, test sensors, materials, and electronics, all while having the opportunity to return the payload back to Earth. The Nanorax Kaber Microsat Deployer is a reusable system that allows the International Space Station to control and command satellite deployments. The Kaber was developed based off Nanorax experience deploying CubeSats from the ISS. This service enables Nanorax to deploy microsatellites up to 82 kg into space. 
Microsatellites that are compatible with the Kaber deployer have additional power, volume, and communication resources, which allows for deployments of higher scope and sophistication. Topic: External Cygnus Deployer ENRCSD. The satellite deployment service enabled satellites to be deployed at an altitude higher than the ISS via a commercial resupply vehicle. These satellites are deployed after the completion of the primary cargo delivery mission and, soaring 500 km above the Earth and CA, 100 km above the ISS, this service opens the door for the development of new technology, in addition to extending the life of CubeSats already deployed in low Earth orbit. The Cygnus deployer holds a total volume of 36U and adds approximately two years to the lifespan of these satellites. ENRCSD missions The OA-6 mission was launched 23 March 2016 at 3 hours 5 minutes and 52 seconds Coordinated Universal Time. Inside the Cygnus was the Sapphire Scientific Payload. Mounted outside of the Cygnus was a CubeSat deployer by Nanorax. Both of these systems remained inactive during the Cygnus docking at the ISS. After the OA-6 resupply mission was completed, and the Cygnus was unberthed from the station, these two services got the chance to perform unprecedented, week-long scientific experiments. The Sapphire's purpose was to study combustion in microgravity, which was done once Cygnus left the ISS. Likewise, in between the OA 6 initiation and its re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, numerous CubeSats were deployed into orbit for the commercial entities that built and operate them. The OA 5 mission was launched 17 October 2016 at 23.45 UTC. On November 25, 2016, during the OA-5 resupply mission, Nanorax successfully deployed four Spire Lemur-2 CubeSats from the Cygnus cargo vehicle from a 500-kilometer orbit. The external Cygnus deployment program was developed with the customer in mind, says Nanorax CTO Mike Lewis. Reusing and repurposing in space vehicles is a quintessential part of Nanorax vision. The OA-7 mission was launched 18 April 2017 at 15 hours 11 minutes and 26 seconds Coordinated Universal Time. On Cygnus 8 resupply mission, Nanorax successfully deployed four Spire Lemur-2 CubeSats at a nearly 500-kilometer orbit. Since then, Nanorax has continued to grow its external deployment program, which is focused on extending the mission of cargo vehicles after Cygnus's deployment from the ISS. This program is a stepping stone in Nanorack's larger goal, the repurposing of in-space vehicles. The OA-7 launch accompanied the company's largest CubeSat mission to date. During this mission, a total of 38 satellites were released into orbit. The OA-8 mission was targeting a launch in September, with the OA-9E mission slated for 2018. Topic. PSLV services Recently, Nanorax announced that the company is adding polar orbit launches to their resume. The company plans to work with Berlin-based Astrophene to create and supply the deployers. In addition, Nanorax is seeking help from the commercial arm of the Indian Space Research Organization, Antrix, for Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV services. Due to recent customer demands for polar orbits, Nanorax plans on seeing it through. These polar orbit opportunities come in addition to Nanorax's numerous deployments of satellites via the Nanorax CubeSat deployer (NRCSD) and Kaber deployer on the ISS, as well as the external Nanorax CubeSat deployer (ENRCSD) mounted outside of the Cygnus spacecraft. Nanorax chose to partner with Astrophene due to their 20 years of experience in aviation and spaceflight and 100% success rate. Topic: Blue Origin Services. Blue Origin's New Shepard space vehicle grants customers the opportunity to research Earth, atmospheric, and space sciences. It can also be implemented for land use as well as technological and space systems development. 
The New Shepard was designed for users to explore microgravity physics and gravitational biology, as well as for technological demonstrations. Its primary capabilities include its ability to frequently launch payloads, high-volume cabin that can host multiple experiments and researchers, and rapid post-landing access, in addition to the many interfaces available to mount experiments. The New Shepard comes in two sizes, single and double. The single size has a payload mass of 25 pounds (11.34 kilograms) and a payload volume of 1.73 cubic feet (49 liters). The approximate interior dimensions are 20.3 by 16.5 by 9.0 in (51.6 by 41.8 by 22.9 centimeters) and can maintain 28 VDC with a 200 W peak. The double size has a payload mass of 50 pounds (22.68 kilograms) and a payload volume of 3.61 cubic feet (102 liters). The approximate interior dimensions are 20.3 by 16.5 by 18.7 in (51.6 by 41.8 by 47.4 cm, and can maintain 28 VDC with a 200 W peak. Both have 32 gigabytes of onboard storage with synchronized flight parameter measurements, and an extra 128 gigabytes of video storage available for post-flight download. Topic. Commercial space stations Nanoracks, after finalizing its contract with NASA, and after winning Next Step's Phase II award, is now developing its concept Independence One previously known as Ixion, which would turn spent rocket tanks into a habitable living area to be tested in space. In spring 2018, Nanoracks announced that Ixion is now known as the Independence One, the first outpost in Nanoracks Space Outpost program. Topic: <laughs> Nanoracks Airlock Module. In February 2017, Nanoracks, LLC, announced they have partnered with Boeing to build and install the first commercial airlock module. The airlock module would eventually be attached to the U.S. segment of the ISS. The module will be both a permanent commercial unscrewed module, and a module capable of being removed from the space station to be used on a future commercial platform. The goal is to have an airlock that could be detached and placed onto another on-orbit platform. As of July 2017, tests confirmed that astronauts can successfully maneuver around the structure and mounted payloads through the assistance of strategically placed handrails. The estimated launch date for the airlock module is set for 2019. Topic. See also Small satellite Orbital ATK Orbital Sciences Cygnus Soyuz spacecraft